So when people talk about how close are they to a bomb, one school, because they're not using the same definitions, nobody's defining what close means. So one school will say the hardest thing about building a nuclear bomb is uh, getting the enriched uranium or plutonium, whatever you're going to use. It takes it a lot of effort to get that to a level where you can build a bomb. So once you get it to that level, then you're very close to building a bomb, according to them. Mm. Other people will say, yeah, it's laborious to get the uranium to such a level, but it's not really technically tough. Once you figure mm. out the centrifuges, it just takes a lot of time to do it. The really tough thing is to put an a implosion device on a ballistic missile and have it go somewhere and blow up. That's what's super technically hard to do. And they say Iran is not technically capable of doing that. So those that's why you get this disparity when some person mm. says they're months away. Well, it's because they're months away from having weapons grade uranium. Doesn't mean they have a bomb. And other ones say, no, it's gonna be at least a year. Well, that's because they don't know how to put it on a ballistic missile. But, but then there's yeah. a third thing. Oh, there's, go ahead, um, so to use it in a ballistic missile, uh, and I'm not a physics professor, but I know a little bit about it. I mean, there's two types of nuclear weapons. There's a gun type and the implosion type. The gun type is what Fat Boy was we used in Hiroshima. And that's basically a tube. You got um, uranium on this side and uranium on this side, and you basically just shoot it together. And they, when it hits, it goes critical mass. It's not that it, efficient, but it blows up. And as Hiroshima will show, it makes a big blow up. But it's a huge device. You, you can't put that on a missile. So it's limited use. Uh, the other kind's implosion where it's mathematically, you've got all these charges all around the ball and you're basically compressing the ball to critical mass, which is much more scientifically hard to do. You've got to have everything triggered exactly right. If one ex uh, charge doesn't go off correctly, it won't go to critical mass, et cetera. Um, and that's what goes into a ballistic missile. So when they say, if you're saying that Iran only wants to do the ballistic missile approach, then yes, they may be a year away because they can't get the implosion stuff right.